So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Um, a big part of this diagram strategy is that we label, if possible, we label the diagram with anything that we know and anything that we are given. Okay. So the question says, in the figure above, RT is equal to TU. So what does that mean? So we're being given this information that RT is equal to TU. So I'm going to put these little tick marks here to represent that those two line segments are congruent. Then the question says, what is the value of X? Okay, so we're looking for this angle here. So then here's the other part of like labeling with what you know. Well, if the question tells me that RT is equal to TU, then that means that triangle, right? Now outline it in red, triangle TRU is an isosceles triangle, which means that these two corner angles are congruent. Since the top angle here is 114 degrees, I know that the bottom two or left and right angles must add up to 66 degrees because 114 plus 66 equals 180. And the three angles of any triangle must always add up to 180 degrees. So I'm just going to split this 66 in half, and therefore I get 33 and 33. So that tells me that angle R is 33, and angle U is 33. But that's really all I can get out of this isosceles triangle situation. So what else, right? So that was part of my knowledge based upon, based upon what I was given. But what else do I know? Well, I also know that this angle here must be 66 degrees because it's supplementary to the 114. I also know that this angle here, right, must, you know, along with 31 degrees and this 66 degrees, that those three angles must add up to 180. So once again, I'd say, well, 66 plus 31, that's 97, right? So that's this angle here that I'm marking in red, plus this angle here that I'm marking in red. So then 180 minus 97 is 83. And therefore, this angle down here is 83 degrees. Again, because all three of these angles must add up to 180. And then what else do I know, right? So I keep asking myself, what else can I find? What else do I know? Well, if this is 83, and maybe I'll switch colors because it's getting a little hectic here. If this angle is 83, then that means that this angle here, which is considered a vertical angle to that 83, that angle is also 83. And now I'm going to draw this little triangle over here. And this is really just for the purposes of the video. I wouldn't necessarily do this on the test. So this R, this V, right? And I know this is 83. So again, I'm just blowing up this triangle right here, right? So I know that's 83. And I know this is 33 from one of the first things I did on the test. And then here is my X that I'm trying to find. So really what I'm saying is X plus 33 plus 83 equals 180 because, again, the three angles of a triangle must add up to 180. And because I don't have use of a calculator for this section, I'm going to have to add this together. So I'm just going to show you, right? I'm not going to do it in my head. This is 6. This is 11. So that's 116. So X plus 116 equals 180. Subtract 116 from both sides. And again, I have to borrow 4, 6 and I get x equals 64, and therefore the correct answer here is choice C.